Okay guys, here's a Acer Windows 7 Home Premium. Uh, here we got the NC600 a thin client off of Deal Extreme. Running a little Acer touchscreen monitor here and just a leftover keypad. I finally got it working. Uh, okay, we'll show you the this guy here. Uh, we're just going to Microsoft Works. The, simple word processor there and uh, same thing over here mm. here it is same thing so we've got uh, works open here and we got works open here it did ask me on the terminal to um, say yes to the user agreement to it so I'm not sure if that would be an issue with uh, serial numbers and whatnot for the software if we click back out of here you'll see this is the screen for the actual thin client itself and it's a Windows CE version so it does work on uh, Windows 7 so if we just go in here let's see uh, downloads just give me a second So where I found this stuff <clears throat> was right here. So it's uh, superuser.com and it's a remote desktop client in Windows 7 full screen mode. Uh, I had an issue with that and also right here which is Windows 7 home premium desktop hack. and. Uh, I believe the link is right here and it's called concurrent RDP patcher dot zip so the address here is mediafire.com uh, slash question mark b y e c 5 a b 1 i r i y 9 d b so you can look that up you download this uh, concurrent RDP patch zip uh, and run the patch and then you're good to go. So the NC600 works with Windows 7. So just a bit more setup on the RDP protocol. You have to go into the control panel on the Windows 7 machine that your terminal is running off of. So everything that you see on this screen is taken from this computer. So it's basically a, a double. So you go into uh, user accounts, add remove users, and you see here I've added uh, an RDP account and you can add whatever account you want but uh, you have to go in there and obviously name the account you want to put a password in and uh, it also has to be an administrator account in, my, in, in this particular uh, experience that I had otherwise it won't work properly so once you have that in as administrator account then you go in here and uh, you hit remote desktop it asks you for the IP address obviously you have to find out the IP address that you've got your LAN uh, cable going into the computer and basically you just go into uh, the Windows search here go CMD enter uh, then you're in the command window and you do IP config and slash all so once you plug the the uh, connector in, the LAN connector here that comes from the NC600, uh, you can scroll up and down here. So basically I'll show you. You basically go up till you see uh, Ethernet, Ethernet local adapter connection, and you'll see right here is the IP which in this case is 192.168.1-2 so you take that IP address and you put it in here and there's lots of options you can uh, check out when you go into here but uh, essentially you want to leave everything here the same uh, on the display you want to go uh, more for full screen and then uh, hit connect we won't hit that right now because we're already in here we've already got a session going so there's that session so just to show you let's uh, look up cars and one two three enter 
that's pretty quick. The only thing you can't do with RDP is video. Uh, you can listen to music, which works uh, relatively well. And if we click something in here, see how fast that comes up. Mind you, that's kind of slow. But I'm not sure how fast this website is anyway. Hmm. That was pretty darn slow. Let's try something else. Canadian Aviation Regulations. There we go, that's pretty quick. So maybe it was just the website that was slow. Anyhow, uh, works pretty good. So we've got this uh, $60 box, $50 used monitor, $10 keypad, $5 mouse, and we've got ourselves a second computer to use, as long as it's connected to this one. But the laptops aren't ideal for this. You want to have something that's got, you know, faster dual core, or quad core, or whatever, uh, serving your terminals. That'll be a lot more efficient.